Hello, everyone. The Bible is God's word. God is spirit. God is never wrong. God is. Let me hear you. In the beginning, someone's not doing. Genesis 1. Open your mouth. Nothing. Can't hear the back row. God made the light. And so there was day and night. On day two, God made the sky. It was very high. So it made the perfect sky, the perfect atmos atmos atmosphere, which means what? Means what? Pe Peggy. It Peggy Mate. So it's the place, the place that is protecting us from all the other planets crashing into us. It's protecting us from everything out there. And God is providing the perfect weather, perfect temperature. What is temperature? Temperature? What is weather? Nicely, perfectly, perfectly for us. And now on day three, this is uh, getting more and more amazing. On day three. Hello. On, on day three. God made the land and sea. Good, excuse me. Sea, and then the waves come from here. And sea. All the flowers and the trees. Yes. What that means is all vegetation, all plants, all the things that grow from the ground, God made it on this day. So it's really amazing. Let's do the whole chant. Ready? Are you ready? Show me you're ready. Go. On day three, God made the land and sea, all the flowers and the trees. How beautiful is that? Now, I'm going to read the Bible for you to tell you how beautiful he made it. Verse 9, God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into one place. Let dry ground appear. And that's exactly what happened. So God said, water, move aside. And the water went, ground appear. And all of a sudden, the ground happened. So he called the dry ground land. He called the waters that were gathered together oceans or seas. And God saw that it was good. Verse 11. Then God said, let the land produce plants. What's a plant? Let them bear their own seeds. What's a seed? You guys know what that is, right? Let them bear their own seeds. And let there be trees on the land that bear fruit with seeds in it. Let each kind of plant or tree have its own kind of seeds. So here's the thing about plants that God made and the trees. They all have what? Seeds. So they could do what? Grow again and again and again and again. Whose idea was this? God's idea. It's so amazing. And that's exactly what happened. Verse 12. The land produced plants. Each kind of plant had its own kind of seeds. The land produced trees that bore fruit with seeds in it. Each kind of tree had its own kind of seeds. God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning. It was day three. God did a lot on this day. All the plants and trees that we know have some kind of seed. That's the only way we can grow them. Do you have any plants in your house? Raise your hand if you have a plant in your house. Oh, plants. Uh, plant or plants. Flower. Real flower. Trees? Any trees? Okay. Awesome. Every plant has a seed. 
and the seed can be planted again to make more plants. That's amazing. You think, what's the big deal? So what? It's not a so what thing. It's a wonderful thing. If, you did, if we did not have seeds, we will starve to death. You know, starve? Starve. That's right. We have to have seeds in all of the plants. And do you eat your plant? Do you he- eat plants? Do you eat fruits, vegetables? Every day? Yes, every day. Did you know that you can survive with just fruits and vegetables? Yes. You don't need ramen. And you don't need your tteokbokki's and your chips and candies and cookies. Water? Of course you need water. God gave us water too. But do you need meat? I don't know. What do you think? Who thinks, yes, we need meat to survive or we will die? Okay. Okay, put your hands down. Who thinks, no, we can survive without meat? Okay. Well, the answer is, You can survive without eating meat. I didn't say thrive. I said survive. You guys know what thrive means? Thrive is different from survive. Survive means 행존. Thrive means happily living your life. (laughs) And I think we do need meat to be happy. Yes. God created the trees and the plants with beautiful ideas. Like this one tree has many, many small leaves. And this is the end of winter in Korea, so we don't see many leaves on the trees yet, but we will go into the next season, which is spring. And what usually happens in the spring? (laughs) Okay, yes, we will see trees blossoming and fruits and flowers. We will see changes in the spring. And the one thing that I want to talk about which I talk about every single year, is how God made the leaves. Yes. No two leaves are the? Yes. Okay, so I actually have something to show you. No two leaves are the? Yes. Okay, I have two leaves. They're, they're real leaves from the tree down in the hall. Okay, these are the same or not? Are they the same? No, they look very similar. But they are not the same because their sizes are different and even the pointing is different. It, it looks exactly the same in some ways, but they're not the same. There are no two leaves that are... What? How many leaves are there in the world? Millions, right? Millions and maybe billions of leaves and each one is different. Each one. Because it's God's creation. And there are so many kinds of trees and so many kinds of plants and flowers. This is all part of God's idea. And there's something very important about plants and trees, not just so you can eat it. What other reason do we need plants and trees? She said the plants give us oxygen. What? The plants give us oxygen? Did you know that? Well, of course you knew that. And that's called, it's called what? Photosynthesis. In Korean? Ha, who learned it already? Tabewasaya. Okay. Photosynthesis. Who can tell me how it works? Pa- photosynthesis is God's way, okay, of giving you the air that you need to breathe. Easy, right? So here, the light energy and water I- is what this plant needs to grow together with this chemical called carbon dioxide, okay? It all kinds of works together. If there's no carbon dioxide, no water, no sun, it's dead. It's going to die. But it needs these things so that it can grow. And then somehow inside of the, inside of the plant, it kind of gives out something. And the thing that comes out of the plant is oxygen. So the plant doesn't need it. It gives it out. It needs carbon dioxide. You see, for us, we don't need carbon dioxide. We blow that out. And then we get the oxygen. So we need plants, and plants need us. We need each other. Whose idea is this? God's idea. I think 
it's amazing. I think it's wonderful. It's so smart. It's so great. Everything is created in God's perfect plan. But he did not make us yet. He didn't make man. Did he make man? No. He's preparing everything. First the atmosphere, right? The light. And then the atmosphere, the light is going to be the energy for all of us. And then the atmosphere, and now the land, there's water, and now there's air, oxygen, there's food. Not just food, good food. Who likes nuts? Do you like nuts? Did you know nuts are really good for you? Yeah, they're so good. It has all the protein you need. It has lots of other stuff. I don't know, lots of vitamins and lots of good stuff. But don't have too much too much is no good but nuts are good for you seeds are good for you and and then you can eat the rest of the stuff but you know what do you eat flowers you do okay some flowers you can eat yes but why did God make flowers to eat do you eat flowers you don't eat the flowers Silas honey Oh, okay. To produce honey through the bees and stuff. Okay, is that the only reason why he made flowers? Who has an idea? Why did he make flowers? All the d- beautiful and different flowers that he made. Why would he make this? Sarah. Ah, oh, so we can be peaceful and happy when we see the flowers. Who agrees with Sarah? Do you agree? Say, I agree. Me too! What is the purpose of this thing? It's beautiful, (laughs) yes. It just shows us how beautiful God is, how amazing God is. Whose idea is this? Look at the petal, the way that it's shaped, the color, the texture, just the way it looks. It's his masterpiece. The way that God makes things, it's tremendously amazing. Beautiful colors, beautiful shapes. What is this? The cherry blossom. It's a beautiful flower. And pretty soon, we're going to see cherry blossoms all along the street to the end of the road. Beautiful flowers. And also in Yoyudo area and all over Seoul. But it'll only stay there for two weeks and then they fall down. But it's beautiful. It just makes you happy when you look at them. This is a lily. And they had lilies even in Jesus' time. Tulips of all kinds of colors. So gentle and beautiful daisies, um, and more tulips, they're gorgeous. Looking at them makes you feel fresh and happy and energetic. I don't know anybody that looks at a flower like this and say, hey, Judge, no. <laughs> There's nobody who will say that. Oh, frustrating. Get that flower out of my face. Nobody will say that. <laughs> okay. And and what about the Gerber daisies are awesome, too. I love these flowers. When you go to the hospital in America, every hospital room has flowers everywhere. Do you know why? Yes. When you visit somebody in the hospital, in the American custom, you will not go with nothing. You don't go with juice, the way Korean people go with juice. Okay? Everyone brings juice to the hospital. <laughs> I don't know. Or like cans of tuna or something. I don't know. But in America, there are flower shops everywhere around the hospital. Because you will take a flower to a patient, a Hwanja. Why? Why? Plus. Yes. You make people happy when you give them flowers. And this is a tip, you boys when you grow up five, ten years from now. A way to a girl's heart is some flowers. Just go like this, like. I know, but just, okay, if you really like a girl, okay, you really like a girl, you don't have to say anything. You just, this is for you. And the girl will say, oh, what? Thank you. (laughs) Why did you get that? (laughs) <laughs> and they will really like it. You can get it for your teachers, your director, all right, your mom, okay, any woman. I don't know any woman that doesn't like flowers unless they have allergies. 
but all girls would love flowers. And even men, too. And of course, on this day, he made all the trees that bear fruit. What is this tree? Apple tree. Who likes apples? Who would like some apples today? <gasps> Go home and tell your mom. Okay, who wants, who likes oranges? <laughs> who likes orange juice? Yes. <laughs> Go home and ask your parents. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Grapes. Who likes grapes? Are the grapes in season now? No, only in like winter time. Or when are they in season? Summertime? Summertime. So no grapes for you guys. What about this? <laughs> Who likes bananas? Okay, I will give you a banana today. A chip, yes, a banana chip. It's still good. It's real banana, okay, with all the sugar and oil. Okay, <laughs> but God gave you the perfect thing, the perfect thing. All the fruits are created by God in the most wonderful, delicious way. You know, next time you have a fruit, okay, my challenge to you, next time you have a fruit, an orange, just an orange. I want you to peel the orange slowly. Just listen to me. Peel it slowly. And look at the peel. And look at the orange. Okay, after you've peeled it, it's this round ball, this squishy round ball. On the outside, it's white. And then what do you do? You poke your finger in the top. And then what do you do? Split it open, and what do you see? Two half balls. They're half. There's like you cut it in half, and then there are like little slices in there, right? How many? Usually, how many? About ten. Around ten of them. But listen, as you just imagine, okay? You Look at that. It's like open already. But you, op you, you cut it open with your hand, and then you peel one of the slice, orange slice out. It's a perfectly wrapped juice ball. It's wrapped in very thin layer, right? One by one. Now, what you do is I want you to open that wrapping, okay? What are you going to see? What's inside? Small little pieces. That's called a pulp, okay? You look at that. Each piece is stuck to each other, right? Just listen. Uh, each piece is, I wish I had an orange to show you today. Oh, but each piece is stuck together, and you can count how many a pulp's pieces there are if you have the time, okay? And then you put them in your mouth. And what happens? Ah, this juice bomb in your mouth. It's a bomb of juice in your mouth, like, mm -hmm. ah, it's so amazing goodness, this is the creation of God. It's so amazing. A perfect fruit with all the vitamin C's and all the mineral, everything that you need in this perfect little thing. And it's so sweet. But is the apple and the orange, do they taste the same? They don't even taste the same. They taste so different. And, and all these fruits, cherries, mangoes, avocados, lemons, pears, strawberries, watermelons, I can go on and on. This is God's gift to you. It's God's gift to you. And what's even better than fruits? Vegetables! Yes! Okay. I will tell you, vegetables are actually better for you than even fruits are. Yes, they're much more healthy for you, much more nutritious for you. The greener, the better. Say it. The greener, the better. The what? Greener, chorok sekai. They are power foods. And that you can even call them the super food. Super food. Like kale and parsley and lettuce and all this good stuff. Corn is not that good for you. But everything else is good. Okay, broccoli, yes, squash and cucumber, pumpkin, lettuce. Who eats their vegetables? Who is not eating their vegetables? Come to my office after worship. You're in big trouble. You need to be thankful for what God has given to you to give you strength and power. Ah, I love this message because it reminds me of how much God loves me. He provides everything for me. And by the way, if you are sick, if you have cancer, if you have 
any kind of disease, you know what is the best way to get better? It's called, it's called something called juicing. Juicing. It's by taking these vegetables and some fruits, make it into a juice, and drink it all day. All the junk will come out of your body, and you will be healthy and strong. And that is God's creation. Think about that. And what did God say when he saw everything he made? It is good. Let's say it. It is good. Yeah. Is it good? Let's make out our prayer. Ready? Say it together with me. Go. You made all things beautiful and new. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Second prayer. You made me beautiful and unique. What's more important, you or a little leaf? Oh, okay. <laughs> This is so beautiful by itself, but we are more important than a leaf. You are more unique and amazing. So God, read it, use my unique talents to glorify you. A flower can glorify God. Did you know that? Looking at a flower and you say, wow, that's beautiful. God is amazing. That flower is giving glory to God. And I'll just tell you, you are more important than a flower. When, God, when people see you, they should say that. Wow. Glory to God because of you. Hold your hands. Close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for the message. Thank you for the wonderful things you created on day three. Sometimes we forget how all these things were created for me. Help me to be thankful. To be wise and to glorify you with my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.